Alright guys, in this video, let's take a look at handling HTTP errors in our Angular application. We know that an observable is returned as a result of the HTTP call. So to handle exceptions on an observable, we make use of the catch operator. So let's first import the catch operator. Import rxjs slash add slash operator slash catch. Then we add the catch operator on our observable dot catch. The catch operator takes in a method name as an argument. So I'm going to call this this dot error handler. And this is the method that gets called whenever there is an exception. So let's go ahead and define the error handler method. So error handler and this method has a parameter. Let's call it error and this is of type HTTP error response. And make sure to import it as well from angular slash common slash HTTP. Now if you notice the employee service does not have a view of its own. But it is really important that our users be informed of any exceptions that occur. If not, they just end up staring at a blank screen which is poor user experience. So what the error handler method does is it throws out the error message so that any component that has subscribed to the observable can make use of it and display the error in the view. So in the method body, we return observable dot throw and we throw the error message which is the description of the error or if it is null, we just throw a string server error and make sure to import throw as well. Import rxjs slash add slash observable slash throw. Alright, so the first half of error handling is done. We have caught the exception on the observable and we have thrown it to the components that have subscribed to the observable. The second half is displaying the error message in the components that have subscribed. So in the employee list component, just like how we get data, we can also get an error. So the second argument to the subscribe method is also a fat arrow function. But this function deals with the error scenario. It takes error as an argument and in the body, we are going to say this dot error message is equal to error. And let's create this error message property and also bind it to our view using interpolation. So public error message and then in the view just underneath employee list, we are going to bind it. And let's do the exact same change in employee detail component as well. Okay, seems like I missed a comma. Now let's go to employee detail component, copy ng on init method, paste it, create the error message property, and then bind it in the view. So now if I save this and take a look at the browser, you can see the employee list and employee details. But if I change the URL from employees.json to employees1.json, you should be able to see the error message. HTTP failure response for localhost 4200 assets slash data slash employees1.json. This is a 404 not found error. And that is what is displayed in our UI. All right, so this is the basic idea how to handle HTTP errors in your Angular application. Let me quickly go over it one more time so that you have a better understanding. The first step, we use the catch operator on the observable. If at all there is an error, the error handler method, which is the argument to the catch operator is executed. From the error handler method, we just throw the exception out. In the components that have subscribed to the observable, we get access to the data and the error. If there is no error, we get the data 
assign the data to the employees array and then display the list of employees. However, if there is an error, we get the error instead, assign it to the error message property and then display the error message in the view. Well, that is about services, HTTP and observables in Angular. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's take a look at routing in the next video.